Hi. Now in this next part, what we've got to do is find the equation of the regression line of t on p, giving you answer in the form t equals a plus b p. So if you haven't tried this question already, just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll run through the work solution. OK, well, let's see now how you got on. To do something like this, a bit of background information that you should be familiar with, that is that if you are plotting a graph of y on x, a scatter diagram, and you're trying to find the line of regression, the equation of it, it's given in the form y equals a plus bx, where b is equal to sxy over sxx. And we should know that the mean is always a point that lies on this line. If I was to mark it in, let's just put it here, okay, this point would be x bar, y bar. It always lies on the line, although it might not be a point in your table. But that means that it satisfies this equation. So when y equals y bar and x equals x bar, we can then rearrange it to get what a is. And we should be familiar with these values, sxy and sxx. They're given by these statistics down here. So when it comes to working out the equation of the regression line of the form t equals a plus bp, all we're doing is taking this idea here, replacing any x with a p, and the y value with a t. So we start then with working out what b is. So to get b, b is going to be equal to well, we can take it from here. Instead of sxy over sxx, it's now going to be spt over spp. So we'll just put that up here. spt over spp. Okay, so these statistics, spt and spp, we worked out in the previous part. And we found out that SPT came out to be 167, and then that's divided by SPP, which we found out to be 525.5. So if you work out this division, you'll find it comes to 0 0.31779, and so on. Okay, well that's B. Now we need to work out what a is in the equation here. And to get A, remember A is equal to y bar minus b times x bar when you've got y against x. But to get A for us, okay, we know that if we rearrange this, A is going to equal t bar, the mean of t, minus b times p bar p bar being the mean of p. And to get the mean of t, we just need to add up all our values for t, which came to 34, and divide that by how many values we've got, which is 6. So the mean t is going to be 34 over 6. We've got b. b was this value here, so we've got 0 0.31779 and so on and we multiply that by the mean of p, which would be sigma p, the sum of all our p-values, 93 then, divided by how many we've got, which is 6. OK? And when you work this out, you end up with 0 0.7408, and so on. So therefore, when it comes to working out the equation okay, of the regression line. And I would suggest you just put some intro here rather than just coming up with the answer, okay. Therefore, the equation of the regression line is, and if we take our values that we've got here and just say round them to three decimal places, then we've got t equals a, a rounded to three decimal places is going to be 
0.741 so 0.741 and then we've got plus b times p and b if you round that to three decimal places is 0.318 so you've got plus 0.318 and that's multiplied by p and I'll just put to 3dp there just to show that I've rounded these values to three decimal places okay so do make sure you're familiar with this idea here these formulas generally are in most formula books but it, it does pay to try and remember them and then all we're doing is just literally mapping our variables x was a p and y was the t all right